A recent competition hosted by Nequa Valley High School brought together the benefits of hands-on learning with the appeal of video games. NCTV 17's Whitney Goodbread has the details. Nequa Valley High School recently hosted the city's first ever VEX Robotics Tournament that challenged 24 local teams to build their best robot. Beginning with a basic $250 kit, teams like Nequa Valley's Robotics Club work together to build a robot that will win the game they're assigned. A lot of what the students are learning here is kind of a design process. Um, they get to look at here's what the game is and there's a lot of different ways to score and which ways are we going to try to score and make our robot unique. Each team's robots were fully customized from claw-like arms to grab balls to propeller arms for shooting into the goal. This year's game of toss-up required them to move colored balls around the playing field while trying to score in hexagonal goals. For Nico's four teams and Neighborville Central's two squads, their robots have been in the works since September. We go to an engineering notebook and we design possible ideas, strategies, um, what the strengths of the robot should be, and then we focus on getting the best lift for our robot, and that best lift was the, the six bar and that's able to lift up 24 inches um, up to that hexagonal goal. Hosting a robotics competition comes with a price tag, and that's where the Indian Prairie Educational Foundation comes in. They gave Nequa Valley a grant to pay for the two fields of play you see behind me, as well as funding this entire event. I wasn't watching the robots, I was watching the students, because I wanted to see the various motions they were going through, because that's really what we do. We do things for the kids. As part of their design process, students also learn programming, strategy, and teamwork, all skills that can come together to help them in classes other than science. A lot of our students are very, very book smart, but when it comes to actually having to put something together and have to design something to meet a specific task, a lot of our students don't even know where to start. And so what a lot of these students get to do is get to see what that process looks like. We first start with the kit, but we soon start to buy like so many different parts because like we're constantly innovating. That's part of robotics. It's it's constantly innovating. It's like a, a very rapid uh, growth process. One Nequa Valley team called Wired Cats One took home first place in both programming and design, qualifying them for the state competition for the first time in three years, proving their hard work paid off. It meant a lot to do it on our home turf. We went to a competition earlier and didn't do it quite as hot as we did here, so it was really nice to finally improve. Wired Cats 1 will now take on Illinois' best during the state competition in March. Reporting from Nequa Valley's Gold Campus, Whitney Goodbread, Naperville News 17. Nequa Valley hopes to double the size of the event next year to include 48 teams. 